Well, what's in a name? Quite a bit if you're a Minnesota Viking. They don't like the idea that they'll be playing on Chicago Avenue, a street named after the hometown of one of their biggest rivals. But the team says that that is not the most important reason they want to change the street name to Vikings Way. Vikings Vice President Lester Bagley says it's about branding and tradition. And Esme Murphy is outside City Hall right now where the Minneapolis Planning Commission says no to the idea. Hi, Esme. Hey there, Amelia. A stunning no vote by the Minnesota Planning Commission, but I will tell you, or the Minneapolis Planning Commission, but I will tell you this is not a done deal. The Planning Commission just has one council member on it. The Vikings can still appeal this to a council committee, the Planning and Zoning Committee, as well as the full city council, and the Vikings are saying they plan to do just that. Now, a little bit of history here. The Minnesota Vikings have said they wanted to change the name of the street in front of the stadium, which is currently Chicago Avenue and Kirby Puckett Place, because they feel in part Chicago the name of the hometown of one of their biggest rivals the Chicago Bears but even more importantly uh, the Vikings vice president Lester Bagley says it's about branding about the Vikings history and also the Vikings argue the twins got the same deal from the city that the twins got a part of a street named right near the new twin stadium at Target Field twins way so the Vikings saying we should get Vikings way Now, city council member Jacob Fry who represents downtown has said that he does not want to see any name change until the Vikings guarantee full and free access to all events around the stadium in the commons area, even to those people who do not have a game ticket. We're not going to randomly give away a, a street name change. Uh, we need to make sure that we have the, the public in, public's interest in mind, and, and in my mind, that's ensuring that the commons has maximum and full public accessibility 100% of the time. Now, just moments ago, I did speak with Council Member Fry, and he said this no vote by the Planning Commission will give him and others who feel like him leverage to make sure that those events in the Commons area are always open and free to the public. A quick footnote about Kirby Puckett Place, because that's also what the Vikings want to change. That name, obviously, that street name named after the Twins, great. That is actually not a hang up here. Apparently, the Twins, the Vikings, and the Puckett family all agree that that name should be taken down because there is another Kirby Puckett Place that's been there since 2014, right in front of Target. Field. Well, Esme, what exactly, what are they talking about when they say public access to events outside the stadium? Well, the interesting thing is that that uh, is what Jacob Fry, the council member, says is the holdup. I talked to Vikings Vice President Lester Bagley earlier today, and he said that's already a done deal as far as he's concerned, that every game day there will be all of these events for families and kids. Uh, people, you know, uh, the military will be honored. He says all of those events will be free and open to the public, uh, even with, for people without a ticket. So I think you're going to see some negotiating here, and this, this issue eventually will move forward. All right. Thank you, Esme.